Hello and welcome to Afro Entertainment. If this is your first time watching my video, you are very much welcome. Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and share my videos. Hit the bell icon to get the latest videos. Thank you. After making a spectacular return to government in 2018, following years plying his trade as governor of the South African Reserve Bank and subsequently in the private sector, it seems former finance minister Tito Boweni's time in the public service is finally coming to an end. This after reports in the Sunday Times that he has resigned as a member of parliament two months after he abdicated his ministerial position. Boweni was led from the private sector in the wake of former minister Nene's surprising resignation amid corruption allegations in October 2018. And truth be told, he put in all the energy he had in trying to turn around the treasury and make it the economic policy driver in the country. This he did by implementing fiscal policies which included aligning and driving similar economic policies among government departments which had not been the case during previous incumbents and quite clearly, although he worked under the most changing of times due to the devastating COVID-19 pandemic, he made quite a significant contribution. However, when President Cyril Ramaphosa reshuffled his cabinet, he had indicated that Boweni had been sometime suggesting that he be allowed to leave, despite that he was persuaded to stay but until Eno Godongwana became available. In spite of his self-initiated demotion, he remained a backbencher in parliament albeit earning half of his previous salary and some were even left in maniacal bewilderment by the decision to continue being an MP despite suggestions that he wanted to go. It is unclear if he would remain actively participating in the politics of the ANC, this by virtue of him being a National Executive Committee member as well as being an integral member of National Disciplinary Committee. While we wait for him to decide on that, the 62 years old is not shy from posting beautiful snaps of almost antiquated cafe of his guest house, which has in recent months visited by some important South Africans from virtually all walks of life. There is a sense in which he might be considering a spend the rest of retirement years in that part of the world. What do you make of Boweni's decision to eventually quit as a member of parliament? Do you think other members who have reached retirement age should consider calling it day and create space for young people? Leave your comments in the comment section. Thanks for listening.